What is up, everybody? First off, I just want to say thanks for being patient. Last week, last video, we didn't make one, and you know, you guys saw my message, but you know what? Just want to say thanks for being patient. In today's video, we've got some really super, super cool stuff for you, and I just wanted to kick off this year with uh, something that's going to kind of trend. And I know it's going to trend because it's still trending, and I've done it quite a few times in the salon this week already. Actually, I kind of wanted to share something with you. There was somebody that had watched my video and they were watching my DIY video and they got into it. They were doing their rubber bands. They were doing all this like, you know, it was my DIY shag. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link that right over here. But it was so interesting. She was like, she got into it and she was about to make the first cut and she decided not to do it. She found out where I was doing hair in salon. I'm here in Salt Lake City, Utah. But the cool thing about it, guys, is that she called the salon and she booked an appointment with me to come in. And she doesn't even live in Utah. She lives in Minneapolis. And the cool thing is that she came to see me for a second time today, actually. And the really, really cool thing, guys, is that she felt like she needed to do it herself, but from the vibe that I gave off on my videos, like I guess I made a connection with her. And when I first met her, I felt like I'd known her forever. She was just the sweetest little thing. I'm gonna show you a little photo we took last time she was here. I'll show that right now. You know, that's us hanging out after I cut her hair. But anyways, guys, I wanted to break down today is a haircut kind of like this and a way to make a shag look very full and thick. And so that's really what I wanted to do today was why I wanted to pay a little homage to her and her coming in. She's the sweetest little angel ever. And you know, really at the end of the day, guys, like, you know, I love cutting hair. And if you want me to do your hair, you know, reach out. I would love to do your hair here in Salt Lake City, Utah. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Cool. Let's do this. Really what I want to do is when I was actually doing this specific look, um, and again, it's a very shaggish look, but it's a very like real kind of like shag. And so I'm not gonna do anything like super crazy and fancy, but I'm gonna kind of show you how I approached this specific type of look. So first off, what I wanna do is that uh, we're gonna establish kind of like really like, like that center part area. And I'm gonna take just a small little triangle right here in front. Now, this is exactly kind of like what I did. There was like a little bit of a fringe area, not a lot. And then from there, we actually have this area right back through here. So we have like our, almost kind of like our, our little opening right here in front. And then we have these layers that start to kind of hit right behind the back of there. So one of the things I want you guys to consider when you're doing this is that when I was doing this, like I'm not finding like any specific type of fringe because we're still gonna have like a lot of this fringe up in here, but we're gonna have a shorter amount of fringe in this area where this is just gonna really kind of like anchor this front area. And then the stuff right behind that is gonna help support where this is sitting. So as you can see, really kind of where, and I'm not really kind of angling this like too, too crazy, like right through here. Got a little bit like right through that area. And it's basically gonna hit about right, right where that eyebrow is, right there. We're gonna take just a little bit of this hair right through here. You've got your guide right there. Just double check this, make sure this is all good. Nice. And you just basically have like this really kind of subtle, like little angle there, okay? So guys, after you guys do that specific thing and you've got like this really small little triangle right through here, she, essentially you guys are gonna have more fringe in here, but again, we're just dealing with this because this is gonna help anchor you know, the stuff that's gonna sit over the top of it, and they're gonna really start to have these angles kind of coming through here. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to find this hairline hair right through here. 
Okay, so what I actually did um, is that instead of like actually having this kind of come forward right through here, I took a little bit of these sections and I'm actually gonna start to point cut this up above, okay? Now the thing I really want you guys to pay attention to is that I'm not going super deep in here as far as like point cutting. And so I'm going rather shallow. And the reason for that is that I really want these ends to have a lot of strength to them, okay? Now that, of course, you could go in and you could really, you know, point cut very, very deep but we're gonna be point cutting really, really rather shallow, about almost kind of like a half an inch. Now the reason for that is again, we wanna keep those ends super dense and super thick. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking this hair and I'm going to kind of flip this up, just like that. Okay guys, so again, working from the shortest portion right here in the front and then bringing everything up, okay? Now having to deal with this line because when it starts to fall, you're gonna start to really kind of see how that shag is coming into shape. So now what we're gonna be doing is again, taking sections right behind our previous sections and we're going to be also holding those up as well. Okay, you can start to really kind of see how this is really coming together. I love the idea of elevating everything up into this area instead of bringing everything forward. You know, I'm just showing you guys an alternative way to do something that is very classic and timeless. Now we're gonna be taking, and you're gonna see how I'm gonna be taking these sections all way, way behind like the back of the ear. Because again, we're gonna be bringing this up towards that top area. So. I'm gonna be going all the way to the very back portion. Now, before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, because I'm taking and I'm adding like some of this hair I previously cut into this. And as I brush this up, just like this, you'll see how I kind of kick this, you know, and you can see how there's like my guide from before, just like that. So as I kick this up, and I bend this around my finger, just like that and then I start to point cut all of this off. And I'll take all of these sections. And when I show you guys this, like this point cutting thing, like this point cut, like I'm not going super deep into this. And so the, the lines on the end are gonna be a little bit more blunt. And I mean blunt within reason because it's still point cut, but what I mean is that the, those ends aren't super thin. And so you're gonna have more, a lot more strength just on those ends. So now you can see how, let's take this back portion and you can kind of see how I'm just gonna part this like right down the center, just like that. And then I'll take both of these sections. I'm gonna take this one on this side and then this one on this side. And so you'll see how I can take this section. We'll do this side first and I'll brush this up. And I'm gonna be brushing this up to see where it lived before. So you'll see how I was holding the section just like that. Brush this up. And we'll see how much of this hair is going to reach all the way to the top. Whoop, 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 whoop. And then 
after we kick the mannequin head like that, and I almost fall right into Morgan, you know? It's like, whoa, you know? Now what we're gonna be doing is take this opposite side, brushing this up. Can you see that guide right there? As we're really starting to kind of look around, at this, I mean, like we've got that shortest point right through here, and then you've got really kind of how everything just kind of like is supported by this area. But you have like that really just beautiful kind of shag starting to come. And this would essentially be a very classic shag. So the thing about this shag is this shag itself is a very wearable like, and this can be wearable from any age, from like somebody in there 60s, 70s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, and even teens. I was talking to my, my wife, my daughter needs a haircut. I haven't cut her hair yet, which is just kind of crazy. I've been neglecting my daughter. But, you know, I was like, dude, we should give her a shag. You know, my wife is just like, no, let's give her something that, you know, I can still kind of pull up and kind of have fun with and whatnot. And we want to actually give her a little bit more length. But she's at really that kind of perfect length to create like this kind of shag, which would still look super awesome. But anyways, we'll save that for a later date. The whole point is that this right here in itself is so timeless and so classic, you know, that anybody can wear this. And this looks good on a guy and a girl as well. You know, why do you see like these old rock star guys back in the 80s, you know, like Molly Crew or, you know, Skid Row or Aerosmith, whatever. They all had shags. They literally all had shags. But, you know, this is kind of like a, a rocker hairstyle, but it can also be this just classic thing. So let's get into styling. You know, I've missed you guys. I've missed talking. You know, I've been talking a lot in this video. So, but uh, let's start styling this. Okay, so let's just talk about the styling really, really quick. I use a combination of like a Mason Pearson style brush and then a round brush. Now, the actual round brush that I use is a dual bristle brush. Now, the cool thing about that is that it'll really grab a hold of the hair. And I'm gonna go, you know, I'll go ahead and link all those that I use below. But, you know, let's just really look at how kind of fun this looks in itself. Like, just this shag in itself is just, you know, it's got a really kind of fun shape around the hairline. You've got layers happening all the way around. The, the back, which is really kind of super fun. This is the definition of a shag. I know I've repeated myself, but again, when it comes down to really just refining this, we are not gonna be doing a lot of texture. And there's a reason for that, because how I was cutting this before is I was really trying to cut this to keep a lot of that strength that's in there right now. And you can see it's got like a really subtle point cut to it because I wanna keep those lines really nice and crisp. There's a reason for that. So where this haircut would work really, really well, guys, is if you have a fine textured hair, but you have a lot of hair. You know, like you wanna have, you wanna keep that kind of line on the end. So if you want your hair to feel as thick as possible, you wanna do this type of cut, okay? Now you can still have a ton of layer in your hair, but you just wanna make sure that those layers on the end have more strength to it. So keep that in mind, guys. I get asked a lot, you know, how do I like make my hair look as thick as possible? Well, this is going to be the number one way on how to make it to where your hair is gonna have a lot of thickness to it. Now, of course, keep in mind, like when you layer your hair, the definition of layering hair is the removal of weight, okay? Now, if you go in and you start kind of, you know, removing a lot of weight, like I've done in my past videos, you're going to remove even more weight. But if that line on your layer has a lot more strength to it, then your hair is going to feel very, very, Thick, okay? Now, obviously, of course, keeping in mind, the closer all of your hair is to one length, your hair is gonna feel a lot thicker down at that specific area. 
The more layered it is, of course, the more your layers are their transition from like your shortest point to your longest point. But if you need layers, which a lot of people need layers, you wanna make sure that those layers have strength, okay? Now, right now, I'm just kind of going through and I'm really just looking at my line and I'm gonna show you kind of what we cut in the back area here, guys. So you can see as I kind of start to bring this up, you can see how that nice line, look at that. Like that is a beautiful, beautiful line there, okay? As I bring this up, I'm actually pretty proud of my, my line there. Boom, you know, you can really start to look at that. I really like what we did today. I hope you guys are digging what we've done today. Again, this is, this is essentially just that timeless, beautiful, classic shag. And it is just, it's so fun to cut. It looks so fun. Styling is so much fun because we could have like kept like that natural wave in there. You know, I mean, just look how much, I like the volume that it has in here. We come in here and I can kind of bend this out a little bit. You can kind of make it to where it looks a little bit more, it's got kind of a curtain style, a little bit like that, which is kind of fun. It really is super awesome. I hope you guys dig it. I'm really, really, really digging it. You know, if we look at the back, you can kind of see what's happening back through there, you know. Let's go ahead and maybe kind of touch up this bottom length because it's looking a little scraggly. So I'm just gonna kind of clean this up just like that. Now, the other thing, you know, you wanna keep in mind is that a lot of times you want the hair to come to a point or you want it to be a little bit more rounded. And so I want it to actually be a little bit more rounded personally. And so I found that that point right there in back. And now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting off these corners right through here. And you can kind of see how that angle is looking just like that. You can now kind of see how you've got that roundness happening like right through this area and then you've got that bottom length that sits right through there but then how everything just rounds up rounds up right back through there so you can keep that same shape happening throughout this area that's going to be happening along that bottom okay guys one of my favorites favorites is to actually use like a smoothing out cream to get definition in the actual layers of like a lot of um, shags like this. This is actually from Orbe. And we're gonna take this. Now this specific cream, guys, would essentially be used on wet hair, okay? Now I'm gonna go through and you can see how I'm just really kind of starting to scrunch this in there. Now, which would essentially bring a little bit more moisture back into the hair. Now, when you bring moisture back into the hair, if the hair's got a little bit of texture, you're gonna get a little bit of wave in the hair. And so, and that's really where kind of shags come alive, personally. And you can see like that definition that's kind of coming through. I mean, with like where that light is even, you know, making it pop like, how fun this looks, you know? And with me even just kind of scrunching it and kind of bringing out some of that wave and some of that texture in the hair. Now a product like this has a lot of shine to it. Now with it actually having a lot of shine in it, you're just gonna get like that super kind of shiny, almost like kind of surreal shiny. Like it's like Japanimation almost, but of course, like the more that your hair is kind of like lived in, like if this was on a real person and you know, give it like 30 minutes, an hour, you'll kind of see how the shine will kind of start to subdue just a little bit. But guys, again, I hope you guys are really, really digging what is happening. Really wanted to, to make 2022 off with a bang. I wanted to start off with things that, and again, what I've seen in the salon, this is still trending. 
this is always gonna trend. It's such a classic look. So, guys, thank you for checking out my channel. Thanks for staying with us. Just thanks for the love, guys. Thanks for being patient again. I really, truly appreciate it. Guys, I've got some amazing stuff planned for us. This year is gonna be awesome, you know? I got a little sick and it was just not fun at all. Stay safe out there, guys. And again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Go ahead and like, comment, let me know what you guys think. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Jake out.